Hey guys, I thought I'm gonna do the credit spread video right away um, because I'm in the groove right now. So um, uh, again, uh, as I've said before, you know, like uh, it's the spreads are really simple. Um, if you wanna just get like the basics of the debit spreads, watch the previous video. But a credit spread is basically the exact opposite of a debit spread. So if you wanna do a bullish uh, a bearish cre credit spread as we just did with the debit spread you would have to uh, put it on the call side because um, like uh, you are now selling premium uh, instead of buying it uh, as before so a credit spread basically is um, usually um, uh, it's, it's a variation of just selling a call right so if I want to uh, want to sell premium and I uh, uh, want to sell premium with a bias, uh, like a, bear, a bearish bias, I'm selling a call. But of course, like that takes a shit ton of buying power, right? So um, a buying power effect like is um, for the call is um, like four grand, right? So who, can do, who could do that with a small account? So what you can do instead is buy an option to uh, buy security uh, to the upside if it goes against you and suddenly uh, this becomes way more affordable, right? So um, with uh, credit spreads, uh, the, the difference is that um, the probabilities are a little bit more in your favor, um, uh, as you see. I mean, you can structure it again as you want. Um, uh, the way, um, you know, like uh, the guys over at Tasty Trade do it, or, uh, you know, they've done the most re research on it, uh, is that they sell like a, a spread out out of the money, and basically what they want, what they are doing is like they uh, are trying to collect uh, about a third of the weight um, in credit. So this would probably be like a typical, you know, like a tasty trade kind of uh, credit spread. How I've learned it, uh, which is a high, very high probability trade, um, as you can see, like. Basically, everything is the opposite of, of debit spreads. So now you see like the probability of uh, the stock going up up here is like 35%, right? Uh, with the 35 delta here. Uh, so that's a quite low probability of, of this happening. So two out of three times, uh, this is not happening. And um, there's other advantages. But let's, let's, let's start um, uh, the same structure as before. So the max loss on this would be calculated, no, I've had it done, not like before, uh, I've had it done in advance. So the max loss on this would be um, the spread width. Um, so here it would be $3 minus the credit received. Um, so uh, say we have like the $3 and we are uh, $3 spread width. And we are receiving a dollar oh two. The max loss would be a dollar ninety eight, right? Uh, you see it here, right? It's calculating it for us here. Um, the max profit would be what the credit you receive. So you're basically um, limiting your profitability here again, like with a, any kind of spread, you're limiting profit profitability for like a high pro higher probability of it happening. So, um, so over here, you know, like we are risking two to make one, but and here is like the the main thing that's actually skewing the probabilities even more in your favor. That has again worked against us in debit spreads is you're receiving a credit, so you're already taking money in before, like right when you sell it, before anything else happens. So now, what you can do is uh, calculate the break even to uh, kind of uh, visualize that. So the break even is um, like the, uh, the, sorry, this is the short strike. Um, so um, now what we can do is um, instead of, um, you know, like where we had to like go uh, like further in this direction, we can go, uh, the, the stock can go all the way against us uh, two or five, Minus or like here it's uh, it's a call spread it's plus right it's my, a plus dollar uh, or two so it can go all the way two oh six oh two until uh, like uh, um, until we um, are starting to lose money 
so that's like um, giving us quite a bit more probabilities. Uh, so it's going up like it's um, probably going to be like a um, uh, somewhere around like that 30 30 percent probability of of this happening instead of 35. So again, so again another five percent. So that's the thing. That's like the simple thing is that is that um, um, you are um, taking in less money and you have definite like just with a debit spread you have a max a max profit that this can can take in with any premium selling strategy but what this does is even if the stock just stays the same theta is actually working uh, uh, in our favor uh, time decay is working in our favor because we took in more like see we sell this for a credit we took in more money than we um then we bought this security against uh, safety against uh, uh, um, we're taking in more money than this is losing, right? So if this expires anywhere below 206, uh, 206, let's say let's round it anywhere below 206, we're making a little bit of money, and that's also why this probability of profit is uh, is higher than what we have here, right? Because um, because there's like a, it's not just uh, it's like a few factors that are playing into it. But basically, um, that is the difference, right? So even um, if I bring this like right at the money, like the probability here is higher than the, with the debit spread that we had in the last video. And that's just because the, the credit that we take in is adding like, see like this green thing is, is showing the, the, the break even. And even if you look short in the curve, like this is where the short strike is. This is where the stock currently is. So the, the, it can go all the way up here. So it can, all, it can go halfway into the spread until we start losing money on this. Um, I mean, that's ex at expiration, right? So that is the, the great advantage in, in, in regards to probabilities with credit spreads. Um, the one, one thing you guys always have to keep in mind is that we are trying to build accounts, right? And I think with both debit and credit spreads, the one thing that this they have in common is like the probability um, versus the capital that we are using. Uh, we are using the capital efficiently, and we the only thing that we can't do is freaking bat for home runs. But I don't think a profitable trader should always be batting for home runs. You want to just bat singles, bat singles, bat singles, bat singles, and just slowly build your account. So that's what these two kinds of spreads. Um, are really good for you can structure it the way you want you know like even you can you know like do what we did with the debit spread you can put it all the way in the money and suddenly you're collecting like two um and you're making uh, uh you're risking one right you're risking 90 dollars uh for to make 200 dollars um and uh, the probabilities are not as bad as they were before right but you're also um uh like risking more, right? Um, or the probabilities are just uh, still, you're, they're getting worse, right? But anyway, um, that's it, I think. Uh, let me just, so just to explain, like see how the break even still like is here. Um, so the price, like the, the stock would still have to move down to like this 199 kind of mark before this becomes profitable. But this is basically the two things, the two kinds of spreads, the basic spreads that I want you guys to know, that I want you guys to use. Um, uh, and then from there, you can go and, you know, like we're going to add advanced kind of mechanics to it that I'm going to show you guys in a later video. But yeah, these are the two basics um, that hopefully are going to help you. Um, make more educated better educated decisions on how you want to trade a certain stock all right that's it guys you guys have a nice weekend and i'll talk to you guys soon if you like this video please help us uh, with the algorithms and like the video and perhaps even like put in a comment or something and share it with your friends if you like what, we, what the information was it's very basic right we're going to add way more in the future but help us grow the channel Help us bring attention to what we're doing because I think we have got some something really good going. So until then, I'll see you guys in chat and have a good one.